Welcome friends, welcome to Book.Tips Never Finished by David Goggins He is known as the toughest man alive or the hardest man on earth If I tell something like that Maybe you would think that okay, this is something like an advertisement or something because you would have already learned or understand many of such words like number one, this and that and many about many companies. Uh, but there is a caveat here. I will tell you why. Because usually like the toughest man is in terms of endurance of the pain. So the people who are voluntarily, involuntarily, like I'm not telling, like suppose maybe having some diseases or something like that, many, many aspects. But voluntarily, the people who have been enduring pain is one people is a sports people. They just break their limits all the time. And most, if you think about like somebody like in the military or someone, you first thing you will come to your mind will be that their tough training they have been gone through and our respect will be mostly around that or our admiration will be mostly around that thing even though we admire them because they are protecting our countries and all these things keeping that in mind the military as the toughest people in training i am talking about navy seals navy seal is Seal means sea, air and land. Navy SEAL is the most expensive human war machine ever created by man. It is the most spent training or the military unit ever created. On that Navy SEAL, I am telling you some perspective. So, Navy SEAL is the most toughest training or the most expensive war machines there among that he is the only one who complete the elite training so he is david goggins he is not only a navy seal he is an ultra marathon runner triathlete and he completed like 4000 push ups in 17 hours he has 12 hours continuous running he is somehow call himself as a savage and uh, he is a new york times best seller as well uh, you cannot hurt him. So this book is talking about, not as a biography, something about what is his mentality. Because most of us come across different, different difficult situation and we feel that all the pain is coming to us and uh, we cannot, because we, we live in a generation where we have burnouts and all these things. So we are trying to learn the philosophy of endurance from David Goggins. So this is his book, a new book, never finished. Let's get started. Quick summary. Uh, from the book itself, the book starts with an experiment by Dr. Kurt Richard. I'll give you a summary of that experiment. Mr. Richard, doctor, he put a dozen of rats on a 30 inch container with water so normally rats are good swimmers but the dilemma here is the or, or the most uh, catch 22 here is that when he put the rats there most of the rats they try to swim and go up of the water on the lid on the bottle for some time after that they go down and they died so he was very much confused about this one because why rats are usually very good swimmers so why they are not able to attempt to take out of this hurdle everybody everybody is dying because of that then he tried to make a small change in that experiment that is very important for our our purpose what he done is that he, when he put the rats in the water immediately before it is getting died he take the rat outside the bottle, put somewhere else in a towel and all, and then put it back. What crazy important thing happened is that those rats which has been put back, they try to endure more and they try to stay more on the top of the water and they survive more. So generally what is really the important thing happen is that 
there is a hope that more than anything what rat rat have skills or anything that hopes already help him to get out of that thing and survive so you cannot hurt him that is what david goggins uh, general thought about this book as per david goggins it's not about a self help book because normally non fictions are considered as self help book like improve it's mostly like deep inside book he is allowing us to look at deep inside us and try to decode it because uh, david goggins used to tell that uh, we live in a in a world where social media like having instant gratification usually like more than any success which was then before social media now if you get a certificate or anything like that your best gratification or best feeling is when you publish there in in social media and you get as many likes or comments like that that is how what so we live in a not not a direct one a, a somehow a fake fake extrapolation of our ourself so the book is trying to explore the dark matter of mind if you like to go through the dark matter of your mind which you don't like to look at it or you least look at it this is our chance to do that it's a boot camp for the brain it's not a normal self help book before we start i'll start with a quote of michael angelo The greatest tragedy of our life is not that people set their sights too high and fail to achieve their goals but instead they set their sights too low and they do it I'll I'll tell once again that greatest tragedy of life is not the people who set their sights too high and fail to achieve those goals instead they set their limits too low and they do it that's a tragedy of life as per michelangelo and he's a man who who painted the chapels and all you know how difficult it was so first chapter maximize your minimal potential somehow this book is a 50 percentage autobiographical and 50 percentage philosophy so i'm trying to filter or carve out that philosophy of uh, life and i'm only taking the philosophy here so his father's father is an abuser so what generally mean is that usually his father is abusing him david and he found out that his father's father is an abuser so that that abuse also was the starting point of many of these things the pain is starting there he is telling the under maximizing your minimal potential the one of the most important thing is that time time is the single most important resource we have as per steve jobs So understand the clock is ticking is the most important thing to maximize your minimal potential. If you lose this one second, you are going to lose that one second from your life. So you cannot maximize your potential using that one second. Act in the sense of urgency. This is most important, mostly in the creative endeavor and almost all endeavors. Like if you put a time limit on something, all of your resources will work towards that. if you think okay your exam is after one year maybe you will procrastinate until that last month and you will be surprised enough that on the last one week you would have studied all the thing which you think you need one year to study it so maximizing your minimal potential you know all the secrets of this but we trying to want to take that philosophy out loud so that we can use it anywhere else procrastinators never finish because that's what the book is talking about he want never finish is a continuous journey of success to success to success because success is not a destination it's it's, it's a journey actually so procrastination never finish you have to take take things in a sense of urgency chapters I, as i told you chapters is mostly biographical so sometimes chapters will not give you direct entity but i'm copying as it is So Merry Christmas is the second chapter trauma scan fiction and non fiction what it mean is that like anybody most of the people have lot of traumas so trauma scan make two things one is that trauma can just derail a person and he live in a fictional world where he think that all his dream is fiction which is cannot be achievable in another way the same trauma can be somebody else non fiction self help book 
somebody will learn from that trauma inspire from that trauma and live a new life out of it so same thing it helps it helps in two different way in two different type of people some people they live on it the pain of it and then they live only around it thinking that they are hopeless helpless people and other people make it as a non fiction accepting as it is so whoever you are accepting as it is because give you some summary about david gog himself he is a person who has sickle cell sickle cell anemia and he has heart problem what generally mean is that he cannot have lot of endurance thing he cannot go mountain hiking and all these things but what surprising fact is that he had done all of this having all of this problem and the book is considered lot of injuries from hospitals knee surgeries lot of things in the book which i am not capturing much because i am only taking out the philosophy here but generally whatever is your limitation even you are sickle cell and you are heart problem you can still become toughest navy seal ever that's an example of david goggins new york time and dark age library ed victor because his book has been rejected the can't hurt me was rejected by ed victor a publisher and he told that this book is not because he was not seen such a book before the so publisher rejected it telling that this may somehow maybe this book will go somewhere in a dark age library but he was so much confidence goggins so he went after it and it is a new york time best seller now stand alone stand tall alone and confident i think that what generally it means that when you jump 20k focus on the horizon so when you have a long trip to take to so 20k if you have to jump from 20000 feet you don't have to look at the point where you are going to land you have to look at the horizon that give you perspective so take a big picture when you are trying to do hardest things in life that will make big changes on you life swings savage defies the odds so normally when life swings two things will happen some people will get away with it with the thing other people defies the odds and then they become something else evolution energy in fear and hate <clears throat> so it's an important part because everybody has fear most of us have hate also of lot of things but goggins is trying to tell that there is a tremendous energy to be utilized from that fear and hate which you can use as an energy as a fuel more than your glucose or carbohydrate or protein or anything else you have so this is a most important uh, energy so conserve it make use of it nurture it that's it create your hurt motivational recording it's also one thing special i did not hear it anywhere i'll see so what he's trying to tell is that make an audio recording of yourself which you hurt much or somebody insulted you on something or your i don't know your teacher or your boss or somebody because you have something limited but you would want to achieve that you want to become somewhere in the life but you are somewhere now and people are belittling you or insulting you that insulting that is hurting your mind take a recording of that hear it again and again and again so you are trying to make yourself like a savage toughest hard man making making of a toughest man here insult temper hero we used to see it in the movies like when there is a tremendous insult happen the heroes will have superhuman powers and all this it is not only happening in human as per gogins it can happen in real life as well your recording will overrule your inner dialogue but most of the time we think ourselves as inner dialogue as it is us like there is an important book by untethered soul by uh, michael singer so he's talking about like we ourselves lot of get lot of talking inside and we think that it is us and it is insights or some people think that it's an insights from gods and all these things but it's all internal dialogue of mind capturing yourself and containing the thing so your recording when your your voice itself is talking about something you want to do instead of writing something i want to become this or vision or something like that the voice your voice because you are hearing it almost all the time more than any other voice so just take your voice back itself and overrule your internal dialogue so make a recording in your phone or anything like that It's an interesting philosophy, right? 
untethered soul i talk about it already winners ever see every experience raw so generally during your journey to your success you will see many experiences every experience will not be nice but take that to experience as raw take experience as it is and take inspiration from that you don't have to so that way you will be more more uh, <coughs> inspiring from that when exhausted play your insult movie i already talk about that like when you are when you are exhausted on doing something or when you are like when you feel tired on doing something and so you, you just play that insulting incident which happened to your life before and that will give you more inspiration and more energy and all similar to the recording but play in your mind that insulting incident that will give you more power because he is just using from his experience he's telling all these things steel plate mind versus six pack abs so steel plate mind is more important than six pack abs that's what he's trying to tell recreate yourself in mental lab so <clears throat> so that's that's also the similar thing like you are recreating yourself or you are remaking yourself on your mental lab that's what it mean insecurities and demons prime those energies because insecurities have two things like for example if you have insecurity on your uh, in your life then that insecurities can either give you some inspiration to improve so other way insecurities can be make you always fear and trouble and all these things <coughs> so try to do that grab iron and practice your mind so what it means is that usually when you are grabbing iron all the time you will have your skin tough and all so generally but if you are not using it your skin will become weak same like that practice your mind in endurance and managing all these things experience so every experience will give you more endurance to overcome more and more navy seal is telling goggins is telling so it's not me so try to do that run with water in your head even though you have lot of hardships and lot of problems just when you are doing something which you want to do or for example if you are running as per goggins run with your head having a water inside it and that that water will not overflow what it mean is that keep a try to make sure or try to control your mind focused and calm when you are doing your best self of the work you can use other part of the but you should be able to control your mind in self that it is it stay calm when you are on your mission when you are on your endeavor praise drains beware so it's also an important part like insult is a good inspiration we already talk about it but we all crave praise and sometime it come also sometime it will be flattery we misunderstood but sometime it will come as it is but the point is that the praise actually it is dangerous it drains away the energy it drains away that toughness inside you to overcome something so be aware of it take it somewhere don't take it inside to keep it there somewhere there keep it in your reserve or saving deposit but don't take it inside your mind intense struggle dream become fantasy fantasy become dream so when you have too much intense pressures and all actually the dream become a fantasy because you will think that that is not at all achievable if you are trying to do a very hardest thing like i don't know whatever it is like it can be an exam or it can be something else in life very toughest exam which you think you cannot achieve when when you have intense struggle on something in your life to then you think that that is this is a fantasy i cannot achieve it's like something like that time and turbulence finding balance on it so that's the most important even in that time we talk about this before like you have a mental state where your water is calm there an example there not much stories i am going to tell but there is one story david is telling he met one person during the navy seal training his name is mora and he is having the same thing like whenever people initially when they go to somebody okay i'm going to join navy seal he joined like that mr mora 
then after training and training he find himself that he's getting exhausted out of pain and is having the memories of home and all these things so he's trying to think that this is not for me i want to quit so he is going to talk to david goggins on this one so goggins is trying to advise him advice is there i'll tell you but actually he quits but then we'll we'll understand the climax later so what generally it happen is that usually when you have a tougher scenarios your fight and flight response will be there and hope will be another part so when there is no hope then fight and fright will get out of it so images of home because goggins is telling you are telling your images of home like usually it happens when you are expat or something you have too much work in the expat country and you think about home and you think okay i want to go there i am not here for it my life is ruined here but not actually it is not rooted in love true savage regain control and knee compact so what it really this this person who is quitting after he think that this navy seal training is not he quitting after this but after when david complete the training because he was similar to david mora has his problems and all so when he, david completed that time he joined back again to navy seal training and he successfully completed so that's the philosophy's power actually so he was having the toughest moment like even you have creating a high intense exercise you will have endorphins later to just motivate your bodies and all these things so similar to that every endurance you should keep that endorphins in your mind you can recreate your endorphins using your mental states and all so but you have to regain your control and you have to regain every steps the best combat soldier is somebody who has a control to his knee like every step is most perfectly taken <clears throat> so that's a true savage he regain control not only on the battlefield but in battlefield of life never quit in peak struggle that's an important lesson you can quit when you are very comfortable but never quit in your peak intensity of a struggle because usually people quit there if you run a company or if you run a startup you are struggling 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 on your peak of your struggle most of the things that okay this is no more i cannot manage it anymore i'm not talking about burning out or exhaustion or something it's a totally different thing you should have your own rest and work life balance and all these things but this is something else like a mindset where don't quit when you are on the peak struggle because life or god or the infinite intelligence is trying to learn you something so stay there you will gain lot of things there many dreams dry in suffering as per gobins most of the people have many many dreams but on the journey of it because everybody starting on a class for example everybody in a particular class all the 60 or 70 or 40 people on a classroom they all want to be successful in life but on that one year journey many people will skip here and there and and when it go to a 10 year journey after the school many people will go here and there so many dreams die in the suffering of life we call it quote and quote suffering 8600 86400 seconds is available in one day and one second can lose you if you don't control and look at your knees every step on your life so careful on all the time what you are doing and what you think about it that's all really make you the toughest and sharpest man alive savage my reborn it's a fourth chapter prepared minds craves condition so that that's how it is like we have we will always crave for the conditioning of that so generally like we as a human being being a human is one thing but when you are going for a toughest thing you have to be on an animal mode like a predator mode so then lot of lofty emotions will not affect you so that's what goggins is telling 
be an animal in you because you already have an animal not animal in a worse aspect i'm telling take the animal in you and that animal state of body and mind will help you on this only a real competition is you and you you all think that you are competing with your classmate you are competing with your colleague in the office but actually they are also competing with a lot of themselves but real competition is you and you because if you are not competing with you you will try to live in a fantasy world you think that you are winning that guy is losing but actually maybe it's opposite so only real competition is that you compete with yourself and you overcome and you improve and improve and polish and polish and make you a diamond inside you great beauty in savage endeavors if you have come across a uh, many difficult task already I'm, i i think you know what i'm telling like if you have done a very toughest exam or any journey which is take too much strain and stress after you complete that one the greatest pleasure is not that final certificate or medal or something it is that journey you take it that will give you more pleasure than that final thing so there is a great beauty in the savage endeavor that intense struggle endeavors school time david exposure this is uh, an important aspect so i'm not sure maybe it will be helpful for a lot of people because in the school time david was too much he used to get in bit abused by a lot of people lot of friends and all but he was trying to protect himself from the exposure as much as possible so that was one thing because this happened to many people also we are trying to it's a good thing for sure like we don't want to avoid with go- bad people but still exposure we have to control that exposure not like we have to avoid them we have to just stay away from not staying away you just have to be there but then you control that exposure many people have lot of things that is generating those things so this will not help you if you avoid from the exposure you cannot live past your life easily because life is all about transactions there is lot of people's good and bad things there embrace savage in you to maximize the potential we all talk about that nature destruction to creations if you look at nature as words were to nature is the greatest philosopher and we are talking about philosophy here so as per goggins nature itself is telling that it create destruction then it create from there like when you have a destruction then it will rain and the things will come up as you see it in the religious texts and all so so destruction there is a creation there self worth left and demons are unattended what it mean is that when your self worth is gone and you feel you are self a loser or something then for sure if you keep that blank self worth is gone that will not stay empty there beware most of the thing the demons will try to Stay, stay there so idle mind is a devil workshop similar thing here hard stop and think again so what it generally mean because we we all overrule or overlook such things like when you have a problem on something you don't have to just keep on trying and trying and trying things just you have to pivot or think again or hard stop at something and look at things so it's not all about like you yes for sure you have to strive for it but it's not striving for one way like people think that okay i have to keep on doing what i'm doing to make my company successful like that but it's it's not that way like you have to think what you're doing and revisit your thinking and that's because if you look at all the startups and all this many startups are failing many people are failing because you have to think what you strive for sometime cutting on something not the cutting on the overall part just leave something and go for something else is most important so you have to look at what you are putting your efforts on so hard stop at the things even in your intense struggle and think again whether you are really doing the right thing what you have to do now otherwise change it and keep the struggle controlled anger is a natural source of energy so you usually think that anger is bad thing that's our natural way of uh, thinking because it has been we have been programmed from our teachers and parents but anger is something like a helplessness attitude or like when the mind gets something too much hopeless or helpless it try to express as anger 
So actually controlled anger is a natural source of energy. You can improve things using it. Think about it. More is in the book as well. Disciple of Discipline. It's also something about a story his grandfather Surgeon Jack teaching about responsibility. I'm not going more on that but you can read in the book. Devil is in the detail task success. We used to tell that. So Surgeon Jack used to give him multiple tasks when he has a kid and all. So he used to think that as a kid it will like become too much intense but after on he tried to get an a way like bill gates used to tell that when i have a toughest task i used to give it to the laziest person because he will try to find a way to do it easiest way or fastest way similar to that goggins was trying to find some easy way to get the task done as per surgeon jack so he will get that internal satisfaction of completion and you will get some time to play basketball and all these things as well <coughs> kid protected from risk this is uh, a natural tendency now like we live in a world where parents has been protecting our kids from not only from dangers from all the risky things so we don't want our kids to risk failure so that risk averse mentality is actually getting embedded inside the mind and inside the gene so that's getting bad so people are very much averse to risks and all breathe discipline and encode to your gene so that's the most important thing even napoleon hill used to tell that importance of discipline i'm not talking because i'm sure your teacher would have taught much about discipline in school so but breathe discipline and encode to your gene that's totally different thing because when you have a discipline in the word discipline in somewhere but discipline in your gene itself that's totally different thing evolution your problems are someone else agenda you think that your problem is created by someone else most of the case actually it's not the case it's not the case because we think that someone else is creating it but actually someone else those particular person they have lot of their own problems and they're struggling with it already so more comfort and pity more crave validation if you are in a more comfort zone complacent and you self pity yourself in that case you will be more craving validation from other people okay i am like this he will try to put that and this but instead if it is an opposite if you are already working on your maximum potential and you have more self esteem on yourself then you don't crave validation so look at yourself what you are you will understand where you are if you crave more validation then it's time to look at back take shift the flip the telescope on you and look inside adapt survive and succeed so most important thing any part of any things is evolution or survival of the fittest is adaptation if you if as surgeon de jack problem as well in any 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 settings of life adaptation is more important for survival and success if you cannot adapt there then your chances of success and chances of effort or doing an effort or a platform to do an effort will be less humility is an antidote to pity you can think about it it is uh, you don't have to be shameful or you don't have to get sympathy from the people some people used to do that they are failure they try to tell other people okay i am like this i am miserable for sure some people will be just sympathize with you but that will not help you or they are just doing it they think that is the right thing to do at that particular time because you are sharing your troubles but an opposite of that humility about yourself is more better than the pity itself or it's a solution to pity art of getting hit in the mouth when some some self talk stay attend it the point is that we used to have this self talk sometime the self talk start one then it come again so our mind is usually telling all these insecurities and all it try to just project it or present it in different different version so best important thing is that attend your self talk there are multiple ways one way to attend it is just thinking about yourself but if you have a trouble you can journal on it but attend your self talk because later on the self talk become a big lecturer inside your brain so careful about it don't celebrate in the middle of the race is also an important part like uh, for example even in your career or something or whatever it is like you're a singer or a dancer or something 
the problem of you have an success or a great success in the middle of the race is actually dangerous if you see like somebody who get very overnight become overnight celebrity become a singer or something they will get very difficult to proceed in the life but whoever is a second runner there maybe they would become a good successful singer later on like that so the best problem best solution don't celebrate in the middle of the race it is not good for you because you have long way to run acute perception there is three way to look at things one is that acute perception of the things what is really happening on you as a person you have to have proper perception around you that is more important when you are on a in your journey of success second thing is that 360 degree comprehension about your surroundings because your surrounding really matter what you are doing so comprehend yourself have a proper perception on you and comprehend what you have then you project then you projection with above with the proper perception and comprehension you have to project yourself then you have an art of getting hit in the mouth act of god or way of god you will see a lot of things like sometimes think that why god is doing like that to me or so most importantly the things is that actually god is making you more and more capable enough to overcome all these things so don't misunderstand that one evolution surround yourself with right people this is maybe you know more than me in many self help books circle you are an average of five people around you jim ron similar thing here work on your beast mode i think we talk about that work on a gazelle intensity that's an important gazelle is i think you know that so there is a difference between gazelle and a tiger when a tiger is hunting on a gazelle a tiger is doing it as just yet another meal maybe he miss this gazelle now he will get another say rabbit or any other prey later it's not really important but for gazelle or, or in, in a short way say deer or something it's it is running for its life if it lose it is it's a do or die situation so when you are working on something give all what you have and work on a gazelle intensity that's more important not like on a tiger mode yes animal mode is good beast mode is good but gazelle intensity on a beast mode is more powerful because you can overcome even the fastest cheetah enroll while you sleep this is an important part also because most of the people think that okay okay it's coming 2023 next year okay let me become that or this so let us do it on this okay next month or this one or let us do it tomorrow what what gogen is telling if you want to become a doctor don't enroll it tomorrow or next week or something enroll while you are sleeping tonight then in the morning just do whatever you think you are a doctor even though you don't start studying for the this one so what is trying to tell is that even he tried to work for whatever it is doctor or something all these things every failed dancer for example if you are working as a medical school every failed dancer for the medical university is like you are making one patient difficult by that because if you know that but not don't know that particular topic you are going to hurt a patient of you so be careful so that that level of intensity that level of focus and perception change the things reckoning bad attitude contagious i think you already know about that it will bad attitude it is contagious everything when set back reorient yourself look at the worst case scenario this also maybe you know it but i'll try to highlight it when you have a difficult scenarios or in a fear or something it is always good to think about the worst things what can happen that will give you help to overcome your fear and all these things confront fear and germinate it exponentially so when you confront fear every time you confront that fear it will get germinated itself as a seed in your mind to confidence that confronting fear will germinate as a confidence inside you that confidence will every time exponentially grow inside you 
captain connolly it's an also a story they are explaining this the captain is actually is more senior than david but he's coming to the training because he just want to improve himself generally as a captain he don't want to undergo that training like what this navy seals are doing but he is attending this training among them but actually he is beating all these people so he is setting himself as a standard this is a good thing because quality as per henry ford is something you do all the good things when no one is looking at it so if you want a quality of you as a brand always set a new standard for yourself you look at tom cruise jackie chan lot of people you see that they always set a new standard for themselves you don't see anybody comparable to them sleep rest and walk like dolphins also very much tough but why dolphins is because dolphins sleep with half brain wake up so what it really means is that sleep with your dream or sleep with your struggles or rest and walk with your struggles so sleep like a dolphin and walk like a dolphin rest like a dolphin so you always have one half of your brain dedicated for your missions to be humble stick to the code i think it is live day one uh, also maybe you come across this uh, amazon jeff bezos used to tell in all of the stake shareholders letter it's at the end he ended it still day one if you ask uh, sachin tendulkar go for batting he used to tell that I go every time to bat this is the first time I'm batting there. So living like day 1 that fresh mindset leave you the burden of all those things and you can capture all those learnings and put it in a fresh perspective. So live a day 1 every day that will give you a lot of power and push on it. Learn from Amazon a lot of people you see day 1 thing play until the whistle challenges grow challenging mind so yes for sure nobody is born with a challenging mind the challenges make the challenging mind every incorrect answer i think i already come across that every field raised that art of resistance why there is an art of learning which is art of resistance Now why because for example we sometimes people misunderstand our brain as a hard disk or something like that you can copy for okay you have something in the book let us copy it but our brain is totally opposite so some people think that okay in a classroom itself there is some topics which will be very easy for somebody but very difficult for somebody but the point is that the art of that resistance that is actually the art of learning if you have a struggle in doing something because your muscle is having that resistance that is your muscle is learning to adapt to that go with it just stay with the art of resistance and you can make a a beautiful art out of it which is you art of learning i already explained so that's an end of the book feel free to it's an interesting book it has lot of stories about him and all i'm not talking any of that but feel free to look at it interesting book and uh, i would really recommend you already keep a copy of the book with you all right until we come across with the next book next book i'm signing off myself from is uh, from book dot tips bye for now thank you